Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going around the charity shops and I thought I'm gonna bring you with me, see what we can find. I love a charity shop trip and I love going by myself so I can just go from shop to shop, look around, see if I find something that I like and just take my time. So this is like me time and yeah, I hope you can find some Christmas stuff. I do need some candle holders, candlestick holders for the table, but we'll see what we can find. So let's go. I am finally home and I can go through all the stuff that I found in the charity shop on this trip and on others because I do have one of the storage boxes where I keep all the other stuff so for later so I can show you so shall we start with the non-Christmas bits first I think so okay first I have two vintage bags you know how crazy I am about vintage bags and I love looking for them in the charity shops and I do have quite a big collection at the moment I've got, I've got quite a few of them so these are two so I'm going to show you this one first it's so beautiful I love this one and it's in perfect condition it's got nothing around the handles perfect and you open it up Ooh, like this and that's how it is inside and it is dusty and you close it it's so pretty so pretty and I love this detailing here this was £5.50 and the make is Garfields of London and is Birdies of Cheltenham that's everything oh there's a tiny little double-sided mirror in here oh this one is very close they're so cute and it's in perfect condition I love vintage bags so this is number one and then number two is this one it's a little bit smaller kind of the same concept uh, golden details and this is by Jane Shelton I didn't open to look inside there's nothing inside and I like the opening of this one like this 
Oop, anyway inside and this was from acorns and the price is not written here but i did pay three pounds fifty for it because i went to the till and i asked how much will that be and i couldn't believe it she said three pound fifty and inside so again beautiful i love this bag i'm gonna treasure it and inside from the same shop uh wait before i show you that look what this bag has in with a chain attached is a coin purse how cool is that and it's all intact and inside is this leather as well it's in perfect condition has a little bit of a tarnish on the lock here just because it's been used but it's just so adorable so yeah put that aside in the same shop i found these these are for lol dolls and a little birdie so this is the first one if you know anything about these dolls let me know because i don't know if any of like limited edition or anything i just saw them in the bin and i paid a pound for all four of them so this is one this is the second one she's so pretty and she's got all the accessories probably she has also shoes she, maybe she had shoes but she's got the clothes on this is another one. Ooh, put your hand down and she is so pretty how cute and last one yeah she is so beautiful and i think maybe she had something like a bottle or whatever to drink so cute so it's 25p each and this will go in the girl's stocking fillers i'm just gonna give it a little bit of a wipe and it will go in their stocking and i'm sure they're gonna be so happy because one lol sphere ball with all the accessories and stuff it goes for none less than 10 pounds i think in places or even more and they usually lose all the accessories so we just give the dolls i've got this and i'm very happy i'm sure they will be happy too another thing for the girls and this one again is for christmas or stocking fillers i'm sure they're gonna love this it's a poly pocket ice lolly and this was one pound fifty from the same shop acorns and it has all the accessories inside here it's so adorable really so cute i played with it in the car i'm just gonna close it before i misplace things and then i can close it again and yeah i'll give it a wipe and this will go in the girls christmas present so cute next um i put it in a bean bag when i saw this and i asked the price i couldn't believe it so i will show you what it is oh it's a poly pocket house look how big this thing is and everything works she's got this like rotating doors uh this is just an accessories i don't know what this accessory is it's got a ton of accessories hence why it's in the bean bag so i don't lose them then it opens like the door here um this one closes and not open and this is the toilet and i think i put a little dolly in there already and it's got like the whole thing and it also has the elevator you know how much this was this was one pound ninety and it was from the age uk one pound ninety my kids are gonna go crazy for this i already see how they're gonna be so happy they have it and probably in here there is a little car but i don't think i have so in here what is this makeup station i've got a few of these tiny dolls and uh, a shoe seat for these dolls Oop, i think they sit here here you go somehow i don't know it's also there's a lot of tiny bits um 
just gonna put it back in the bean bag so I don't lose anything and then I'll wrap it, wrap it up and the kids are gonna be happy they do not care if a toy is new or not at least my kids don't as soon as it's new for them and they love playing with everything they are very happy another thing that I got for the girls is this um, Pinkabella fashion show £1.95 and is basically that's what's inside so you take uh, the carton clothes and put them on and it's got like a little fashion runway and it's it has everything inside and i'm sure my girls are gonna love this and again it will go in the christmas present pile for one of them i don't know which one so i'm gonna put it there 195 is a great price then for Thea, I got her this a two pound pair of how they call it high shoes, like heeled shoes, high heel shoes. These are from Lily Sparkle. I think you can find them in Deutschmann. And these were two pounds. They are black, cute. Uh, it's got some of this uh, glitter fell, fell, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a sharpie and just go over, and you're not gonna see it. It's gonna be black. And Emilia has a pair that she got for her birthday. I got them from AliExpress. And now Tay's gonna have a pair. And it looks like they have not been worn. Because you know, the kids, they grow out of shoes very fast. And I'm gonna have a happy baby for two pounds. It will go in the Christmas <laughs> presents as well. Then, what else do I have which is non Christmassy? This one is a secret of great French restaurant by Luzette. Berthole? I, I can't pronounce it. It's just an old book. Looks like this and I just I love the pages. It does have inside real recipes and nowadays what we do we just google or we go on YouTube we find the recipes and exactly the way how to make them. But I thought this will look great on the shelf above the sink in my above the window in my kitchen. This is why I got it and this was 90 pence because all the books were 90p in there and it's a beautiful book. Then let's get into the Christmas stuff. So first, now this, let me show you this because this is a great find and I didn't know this thing existed. So this is a puzzle roll, puzzle and roll. So if you see in here, it comes with a felt mat. And you do the puzzle and it holds the cylinder and then you just roll it inside and put it away because uh, when you do a big puzzle, unless you have a spare table that you don't use and leave it there and then go back to it, uh, you need a place to store it. So this was, I think £3.50 was written somewhere, no, £3.99 is written here. Uh, this was from Salvation Army and I didn't really know this existed because we didn't do I didn't do puzzles like many puzzles growing up and of course I had to get a Christmas puzzle uh, this is a thousand pa uh, puzzles thousand pieces and it was one pound 95 and it's so beautiful um, it's probably going to take us quite a while and we have the whole festive season to finish it so this will come handy also inside i didn't realize it has puzzles which i don't think normally comes with this i don't know because it doesn't say anywhere um i know it says with 100 includes three puzzle of a thousand pieces uh it's quite difficult it's like a busy city uh, we're not gonna do that one we're gonna do the winter one because it's for Christmas. Very happy with that. Next, uh, this I don't think not necessarily Christmassy but I saw this one in Surider and it's such a beautiful um, decanter, decanting jar. Um, it's so lovely and look how nice is it. The word coffee is a sticker so I can just take it off because it's already peeling off but i love this green this green is everything it's just so beautiful and i can actually put things in and keep it as a display 
item as well so we can maybe put some sugar in i just need to give it a wash but inside is all nice and clean probably it's been cleaned before being donated because i can see some like water stains you know when you clean something and the water leaves some marks after you washed it and it's beautiful i just love the combination of color i love everything and it was only a pound so i got that let's move on into more christmas things uh one thing i have here for emilia it's dress and this was from fnf i think it's tesco no i think it is a christmas dress beautiful simple it has like polka dots and it's got an idea and a penguin she loves anything polka dots and it was one pound 99 and it's five to six perfect for her size uh Thea has some dresses that are hand me down from Emilia for Christmas and Emilia's got another one and it looks like new I'm just gonna give it a wash it's gonna be good to go then I go Santa I love the anything that looks vintagey uh, like this Merry Christmas like the vintage Santa is just so beautiful and it was 90 95p this was from age UK I just remember because one of my favorite shops to go cute I love that then I got this one you probably saw it in the video from uh, Heart, British Heart Foundation from Heart Foundation British Heart Foundation uh, £3.99 and I know this is a lot of ribbon it's a lot in here I need this is floral ribbon like the one which is plasticky it's not um fabric but i'm gonna do a candy land in front of my house the front garden to decorate the house for christmas and i'm gonna need a lot of this ribbon and i was happy to find it and it was four pounds 3.99 maybe not cheap for charity shops but you still get a lot of this ribbon inside charity shops starting to be a little bit more expensive now i don't know what's going on and what else i've got these uh it's santa please stop here it's a little cushion kit and it was from aguk again one pound 95 and originally was from from peacocks and again it's clean it doesn't have any stains or anything i'm just gonna give it a bit of a spray or like fabric spray and it's good to go it doesn't have any smell or anything and it's a cute pillow because if you buy anything like this in the shops now you're not gonna be 195 they're quite expensive when they are in season then i got uh, a set it was a full box with christmas bubbles and they were 10 for a pound so i chose 10 and i'm going to show you some of them so i've got a few that are like these they're just plastic but they're cute they're for uh, the girls playroom then this one is glass and if you know this kind of glass ornaments will go the cheapest you can find them i don't know 150 if i don't know the glass like this will probably be more than three pounds and i paid a pound for 10 of them and this is just so cute and i'll put this in my big tree which is already up and then we have santa and the snowman something like this you usually get in poundland for a pound but it was in the set, so I got Santa and Snowman. Then I thought this one was cute as well. This is glass, is no um, plastic. And anything else I have? No special. No. And I've got a few of these as well. So that's how I chose tan. And my best charity shop find ever, I think. I saved it. For the end of a video because this this is great i will show you what i'm talking about it's not christmasy but from sue rider i found this coat and i already wore it out look how beautiful this coat is and it was three pounds like three one two three three pounds and if you check the label is it says Lanifico Valley uh, fabric made in Italy but it was sold in 
um, and other stories. If you know and other stories, the website, they have nice quality items that are quite expensive and I don't know how much this was in there but this looks brand new um, doesn't have any stains any pools and not even the um, wool is not even bubbly so I don't know probably was donated by someone who wears things once and then gets rid of it maybe it was an influencer <laughs> They get stuff and then they donate it to the charity shop. So thank you to whoever donated this because I got it for three pounds and it can be happier because it's so nice and warm and also it's very lightweight. And because of that, I sold my River Island coat that I had from last year because now I have this one. And it smells so nice because I already wore it and put perfume on it. So yeah, I'm just so, so happy with this. And this will conclude the video of today. That's everything that I accumulated from charity shops. I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, one more thing. This was three. This three was free of marketplace before I go. Is a fully lit three, and it was free. Somebody said it's gonna go to the tip if you don't pick it up. So I got it. So yeah, this is definitely the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Love you.